Okay, so we'll get started. And we're here for the resume building and interview skills. Uh, a lot of you who have worked for me in the past, you've heard a lot of these stories. So just imagine everything I've told you in the last three years, now we're gonna get it down to one hour. Um, for those of you who work for me now, this is really gonna be helpful for those of you guys who probably wanna move up. Because if I am the person who's gonna be making the decision, who better to learn how to do the interview from the guy who's making the decision, right? And, and what I'm going through, what are my thought processes um, of um, where we're going in the future. So, why are we here, right? Sometimes we're either here to seek a promotion, we want to better prepare for an interview, we want to update our resume, and we want to be able to tell your story. That's why we're here today. This little quote from uh, uh, Einstein, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. Um, one of the reasons why I do this presentation or I'm doing it is because as you will learn or you have learned in the past that maybe some of my methods are a little unorthodox or just a little bit different from the norm of what you have worked with. Uh, I didn't grow up in a traditional maintenance background. And so I just do things from feeling and from my experience. Um, and that's, that's what's made me successful and what made a lot of my staff successful <coughs> is the fact that um, I've been that proverbial outside of the box thinker. Um, so we don't want to just keep doing the same things over and over again. If you've been interviewing for a lot of jobs and you've never gotten there, maybe you need to change it up. <coughs> maybe there's something about your approach that you haven't done. And that's why you haven't been as successful because the industry's changing, the world's changing. <coughs> So, to introduce myself, I think I know most of you guys, I'm Carl Valdez, currently the MSA San Francisco Bay Area Chapter President, I was the 2016 Executive Board President, I'm the current Peter Walsh Award recipient. Now, those are just things that I've done. Somebody asked me, what made you qualify to present this class? Um, one, of the, uh, one of our board members uh, suggested to me, he said, hey, you know what, we filling out the training schedule, why don't you do one on interview skills? He used to work for me, so he knew that um, I had a good story to tell with interview skills. So he asked me to present it here for the MSA. So I put it on there. Um, I've done a lot of things. You know, I've had my own personal career advancements and I have a lot of staff success stories. But one of the things that's really made me qualified for this is I've done, I don't know, hundreds of interviews, maybe. Uh, not myself personally, but on hundreds of interview panels. And in Ventura, where I started from, they had what they called the people strategy. And for every interview, they had to have on the panel someone from the department, someone outside of the department or from another agency in the same industry, and they had to have the people strategy person. And I, apparently I was on a short list of people strategy people. I didn't even know that at first. I was just getting asked by other supervisors and managers, hey, will you sit on this panel? Sit on this panel for mechanics, police officer, planning, whatever it was. They started asking me to be on these, all these panels and I was probably on an interview panel about once a month. And I had no idea why everybody was asking me. So I finally talked to this one supervisor and I asked him, hey, why are you asking me to be on your panel? And there was dozens of different people you know, that you could be on this panel. He says, oh, because you're on the list of the HR engagement. I thought, well, what list is that? So I call HR up and I said, hey, apparently I'm on this list for interview panels. What's that? He says, oh, you're on our people strategy list. And to explain, in Ventura, having technical skills is a good, is part of what they were looking for when they hired people was they wanted to have people who can fit in the organization. And we're gonna talk more about that, how the fit of a, 
person is just as critical as their experience and the technical skills. So they chose me to be on the short list of people that would be on the people strategy. So um, I've done you know hundreds of interviews because of that in, in a broad range of, of uh, job 